Hi, this is Adam Webskowski. I brought along a video camera and had the privilege of recording these images to show you more of Vita Ministries, the mission we here at TIC support in India. First, meet our volunteer team. Hi, I'm Jerry Cooper and I'm from TIC. Hi, I'm Dwayne, somebody else from somewhere else. Hi, I'm Chris Lawrence and I'm from TIC. <laughs> Hi, I'm Doug Street and I'm from TIC. Hi, I'm Paula Perkins from Taipei International Church. Hi, I'm Tina Chen and I'm from TIC. Hello, I'm a Dr. Dick Fong from a Taipei TIC. Hi, I'm Dr. William Choi from Taipei. Hello, I'm Dr. T from Malaysia. Hello, I'm Chen Su -e. I'm from Taiwan. Hello, I'm Claire Lo and I'm from Taiwan. Hi, my name is Priyanjani De Silva and I'm from Sri Lanka. Hi, I'm Hannah Lai and I'm from Hong Kong. Hi, my name is Sarah Young and I'm from Hong Kong. After arriving at the airport, we unloaded everything and got ready to check in. With the Lord's help, our large load got on the plane without a hitch. Since we had a 10-hour layover in Kuala Lumpur, some of us did some sightseeing. We arrived in Hyderabad late that night and got the vans loaded up. We were welcomed and prayed for. Then we were on the road for our hotel, three hours and 160 kilometers away. I was surprised at how many people we saw sleeping on sidewalks as we left the city. After getting a few hours sleep, we hit the road again for 45 minutes to get to the school in Malipali. Das's son Nathan planned a long and involved program for the children to perform in welcoming us. I'd like to show you the area surrounding the Matilda School in Malipali. First off, walls have been put up in the last year to keep cobras and these guys out. Das says they used to come in and eat the kids' lunches. The little ones were helpless to do anything. Before we arrived, I expected to find the school and ministries on an isolated plot of land away from people. What I found is that it's only 500 meters from the center of Malipali and surrounded by small town hustle and bustle. Several small tent communities have been set up by squatters with no homes. These people are mostly construction or road workers that move around as the jobs move. The road outside the school and clinic is busy and loud. Most traffic is large trucks, buses and taxis. There is plenty of foot traffic, both human and otherwise. The dental clinic started Monday morning by serving the students and teachers of Matilda School. Pastor Doug Street kept the children occupied as they waited. Dr. Choi examined teeth to determine what, if anything, needed to be done. By Wednesday, we had started treating people from the surrounding towns and countryside. For many of these people, this was their first visit to a dentist in their life. In five days, our six dentists saw over a thousand patients, treated 660 patients, and performed over 1,000 procedures. On the last day alone, I was on the extraction table and our doctors pulled 83 teeth. School starts every morning with an all-school assembly. Kids sing and pray and listen to important announcements before heading off to class. Except for one class in Telugu language, the entire day is taught in English from the lowest grade up. 
There are currently over 700 students being taught Christian principles in the Matilda schools. Using machines that seem like antiques to most of us, these young ladies are being taught a trade that will allow them to get ahead. We bring you God's love. A special treat for all of us was the evening visit to a tribal village. We were greeted with special dances and music. Dr. Fang even received a baby boy to hold on to. Vita Ministries supports a school in the village. Pastor Doug Street led a pastor's conference one evening at the Bindu home. As is common in this area, the power went out and the meeting was held in the dark. The group belted out a few songs in Telugu with only a tambourine for accompaniment. Jerry, Pastor Doug and I then got caught in a typhoon-like storm on the way back to the hostel. It was bone dry there when we arrived. The Bindu home cares for over 65 homeless children. Not all are without parents. Since TIC's last visit, the floors have been finished and a second floor has been added. Each child has their own case to hold personal belongings. Children sleep on mats on the floor and are cooled with overhead ceiling fans. The new school is located outside the town of Devarkanda, just seven kilometers from the Malipali campus. Work has stopped for lack of funds to continue. Das and Doris are praying and believing for it to be ready and open in July for new classes. I was really surprised at how small the Stonecutter Community Church was. Just up the hill from the current location, land has been donated for construction of a new and larger building. We're giving something to them for free. We're just showing them uh, a Christian way of dealing with somebody else's problem. Helping people in India to know more about what it means to be a Christian is helping one person at a time, one at a time, and th if that's all we do on a trip like this, we've done our job. We feel that personal touch is more important than any organization or church sending us money. We appreciate the money, but uh, people coming, taking time, taking lots of pain to come, leaving their jobs, and uh, being with us for a day, two, three, four days. And that is the greatest uh, gift, a contribution that we could expect from anybody. I would encourage people to, to come and see for themselves. And it's a, it's a real experience.